All right, uh, so I'm going to show you that you can play uh, original cartridges, old retro cartridges on an Android device. This has been recorded a few times. I also did a video showing this on the Shield TV, but not specifically Android. All right, so I had to root the device, though, unfortunately, for Android. <clears throat> I believe this works on the Pi, the, the Raspberry Pi as well. And it works on PC and blah blah blah, but this is Android, it is specific to Android. Um, but you need to uh, root, uh, this is not really an iPad by the way, it looks like one, it's a Chinese knockoff, and I themed it to look like an iPad for the hell of it, because I can. Um, but you need to root, and you need stick mount. So there's stick mount. I also have iPad gestures, with GMD gesture control. Um, so yeah, you need stick mount, so once you do that, you can plug the iPad, up oh, the iPad, uh, you can plug the retro into a uh, OTG cable, um, and then uh, stick mount will mount the retro, and it will be able, you'll be able to pull it up in emulators. The retro also lets you use your original controllers, there's a six button Genesis controller, and it is working see on there with the oddball controller support that this launcher has. I don't think it's really meant for controller support, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> this also supports SNES uh, gamepads out of the box, so SNES and Genesis, uh, and there are adapters for other systems. Like I have one for N64, they have one for Master System, um, there's also a Game Boy one, I think it works Game Boy Advance and all that. And you can make your own. That's kind of there's schematics. I'm not going to bother with that. But so I'm going to pull up Genesis, Genesis game. If I can through md.mu. By the way, this also works on the iPad if you have a jailbroken iPad. Um, so I have all my buttons mapped. I had to go into the uh, into the keypad mapping thing and set up my buttons, and then load your game and it shows it up on the cart. Also, uh, if you want to use save states, uh, change the save state location. Uh, let's see where we can find that. Options, I think it's in system. And... Yeah, save path. I set it to a folder called game. So, you have to change the save path or it's going to try to save to the cartridge and it can't do that. So, it will fail to save. Anyways, let's pull up a game. Now you applied the filters and everything. I think the, the this device is a two, has a 2K screen. The resolution is 2K. And I have this hooked up with speakers. So, I don't know where to be. <clears throat> Why does my voice sound like it's starting to get hoarse? Uh, I haven't spoken much all day, and now I'm hearing my voice, and it sounds like it's a bit hoarse. Um, and I know a lot of people are getting sick, at least the people that I know. And, uh, yeah, so now I feel like I'm losing my voice. Perfect time to make a video, where you talk, at least. <clears throat> Yes, Road Rash. Oh, and if you don't know if uh, if you if you have a gaming PC or a PC, I don't even think this game requires that much. But uh, if you don't know about Road Redemption, it's a fun game. It's it's basically based on Road Rash, except for it has a lot of extra stuff. It has a lot of like, things like guns and shit. Ah, oh, I fucked the Beretti. Hey, uh, I just cleaned all my games like vigorously. I opened them up with a friggin' screwdriver and fucking use brass polish and all this shit to make sure that these games would work. So, so every, a lot of times you plug these games in, you know, plug them into the Retro or even the Retron 5 or whatever, and they would, uh, they wouldn't show up properly or they wouldn't show up at all or something. So and once you clean them, like really clean them, like brass polish and all this other stuff and scrubbing them and all this crap, they all of a sudden start to work. So, yeah. 
but a lot of times you clean with alcohol, it really doesn't help. Sometimes it just creates a film on the cartridge, which kind of almost makes it worse or something. Oh, God damn it. Don't expect me to win. I only have this cartridge over here, so <laughs> that's all I'm going to really play. I just wanted to show it. Um, like I said I did this on the Shield TV. But this is cool because this has a, a 4x3 screen, and these games uh, are the 4x3 uh, aspect ratio. So they don't look like all stretched out, or they don't have black bars on the sides or anything. And you can put the um, scan lines on. I'm using MD.MU. I normally use RetroArch. But, uh, you know, setting up the controller in RetroArch is a bitch, so I kind of give up on that, and I'm just using MD.M, which is a good emulator, so. It works just fine. And it's a lot more simple. The only thing is it doesn't do uh, 32x. So you can also put 32x. You could use 32x games with this. Uh, I actually have my uh, retro modified to accept a 32x cartridge. Basically, just kind of open up the cart port a little better, and uh, you could pop a 32x cart just right in, and it works. But if you don't modify it, you have to put a 32x in there just to act as like a pass through. The cartridge just doesn't, just doesn't fit. So. Oh, no, no, I don't want to get out! Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, let's, we're in a winning position here. And, uh, but like I said, mentioned before, Road Redemption. Wanted to talk more about that. It's actually really cool. It's like, you know, it's, a, it's got an updated... Whoa, damn. It's got, like, updated graphics. Not, not amazing, but, you know. It's updated a bit. Get, get out of my face. And, uh, it has, like, guns and, um, you know, you have weapons to start with, so you don't have to, like, grab them from some random person that you don't know has a club or something. Um, and it seems to be, like, really focused, come on, focused on, like, battles in the, oh, uh, oh, come on. Uh, it really is, like, focused on the battle part, so, you know, in this game it's kind of, like, I don't know that it's that focused on, like, hitting people and all this. Uh, and you can kill people, too. That's the good thing. You can kill people. Uh, well, at least I was behind the cop when I got hit. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. God damn it. Um. But yeah. Let me check that. Oh, no. You suck. I'm done. I'm fucked. Busted. Anyways, yeah, that's that, so, but, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite Sega Genesis games, and, uh, that's that. Um, I also have Road Rash 2, don't have Road Rash 3, they all seem about the same kind of game, <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. And, uh, by the way, I'm propping this up on a, uh, on a GameCom box, it's finally useful for something. Better be careful. There are GameCom fanboys out there. I have seen them. They want to shut your account down. Anyways, so, and I'm not joking. Um, so, thank you for watching. And have a good day. Or night. Actually, it's nighttime now. Or no, it's daytime. It's actually daytime because I'm an insomniac and I can't sleep. And now apparently I can't talk either. So, I'll have to work on that. Maybe I'll just start taking drugs just to combat uh, the, the the bullshit so that maybe I can get better faster before I actually really get bad or something. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Made perfect sense.